some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in court at a probable cause hearing with a sovereign citizen who, well, turns up drunk and makes a complete fool out of himself. So now, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. On the record in the matter of the people of the state of Michigan versus Gennardo Edwards, file number 23-00747, council appearance. Brian Ring on behalf of the people. Uh, somebody representing me. I'm sorry? I didn't understand how somebody represented me and I'm representing myself. No and I can't no see no myself on Zoom. Zoom. Nobody said they were representing you. Oh, I thought that's he what said, you did. He I, said I his, he was here on behalf of the people. Oh, okay. My fault. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Well, Soft Heart, uh, I'm just wondering if your inebriation has anything to do with your inability to hear anything in that courtroom. Because you going pro se definitely doesn't look like a good idea if that is the case. So, good luck with that. Okay. You wish to represent yourself, sir? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and why I can't see myself on the screen. Okay. Are you under the influence of anything at this time? Everybody just stay calm. I can handle this, no problem. I know how to deal. License and registration, please. What seems to be the officer problem? No, ma'am. Okay. I don't know why you can't see yourself on the screen. I could just hear me and see you. Uh, maybe you should call the Soft Heart Geek Squad to help you out. I mean, uh, there has to be something in Black's Law Dictionary that can solve this problem with you not being able to see your face on Zoom. I mean, that dictionary is supposed to solve all your problems, isn't it? Okay. But that's okay. You... That's okay. That's okay. 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 So you understand, sir, that you do have the right to have court-appointed counsel represented at the expense of the public if you cannot afford to hire an attorney? Yeah. Yes. Okay, and you wish to waive that, you say? Yes, ma'am. Oh, oh uh, you know what? Mr. Edwards, you need ma to appear in person. Um, you need to appear in person today, okay? How how was I supposed to appear in person? I, I and I live in um East Point, Michigan. That's down there by Detroit. I, I've been served a summons felony and not a complaint felony. I don't know what's going on, ma'am. And I want to um, avert the jurisdiction and read my coron uh, warrant into record. Okay. I well, don't know do what's going in, on, ma'am. And okay? I know, and I understand this Zoom is illegal according to Tyler versus Illinois. Huh? That's odd. Uh... Tyler versus Illinois. I couldn't find it, and I couldn't find anything saying that Zoom court hearings are illegal. So, uh, whatever you're on, it certainly is affecting your brain. Or perhaps you've consumed way too many lead paint chips in your day. 48 for US 400. I know it is. So I know I have to report, but you're going to have to give me some time because I don't have transportation. Okay, what are you gonna get here? Uh, you gonna have to at least give me a month. You gonna have to at least. No, you're not getting a month. You, you got a court date on the thirteenth. I I can't make it. I can't oh, make it. Okay, I, well then you'll get a warrant. Okay. Court, I'm asking the court. If you don't appear on the thirteenth, you'll have a warrant for your arrest. We're not giving you a month to show up to court. Uh, you're gonna need a month. Uh, no. Uh, You've already been delayed enough as it is. I mean, this already sounds like a stall tactic. Ma'am, I'm asking the court. Do you have any judge. questions at this time? Yes. What's your question, sir? I'm happy to answer them, but what I won't, what I won't do, is go back and forth with you about nonsense. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. I have a, uh, I, I have a a corn, corn warranto. May I read it into record? I'm sorry. You have what? I have a corn roll, a warm top. Are you stupid or something? It's 
Q U O Warranto, and I have a uh, lack of jurisdiction and a motion to Oh, submit. okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah, you need to file that with the with the court and serve it on the prosecutor. We're not reading that on the record today, okay? We can't read it. All right. Well, since no, no, we can't you need to file it, it on the with record, the court. You need to do an I, you need to do an appropriate filing, and then you serve the prosecutor. Okay. I will, ma'am. But I, I have one more other thing. Since this is a uh, probable cause. Can you at least let me know what my charges is and who is lodge, lodging the charges against? Yeah. Did you appear for your arraignment on March 8th? Yes, I did, ma'am. And okay. they put me on okay. a personal bond. Were you bond. advised at the time of what you were being charged with? Uh, she said something about larceny, but she didn't say from who. That's exactly what you're being charged with, a larceny. Yeah, right. But she didn't say from who. You're being charged by the people of the state of Michigan for count one on on or about August 19, 2022 through August 20, 2022 at the area of 4600 Collins Road, city of Lansing, Ingham County, state of Michigan for allegedly committing the act in count one of larceny $1,000 or more, but less than $20,000. It alleges that you did commit the offense of larceny by stealing money that belonged to a Je is it Jer? Avonshire? The value of the property stolen a thousand dollars or more, but less than twenty thousand dollars. This was contrary to Michigan Compile Law 750.3563A. That's a felony. Maximum penalty five years and or ten thousand dollars in fines or three times the value of the stolen property, whichever is greater. To impose a fine of three times the value, the defendant must admit the amount or it must be determined by a trier of fact at trial. There's an habitual offender, fourth offense notice. So that would enhance the maximum penalty on this. It says take notice that the defendant was previously convicted of three or more felonies or attempts to commit felonies. And that on or about May 11, 2016, he was convicted of the offense of failure to return rented property $1,000 to $20,000 in violation of MCL 750.36583A in the 16th Circuit Court of Macomb County. And that on or about March 7th, 1997, he was convicted of the offense of delivery manufacturing less than 50 grams in violation of MCL 333.740122. A4 in the Fourth Circuit Court of Jackson County. In that order, about March 7, 1997, he was convicted of the offense of carrying a concealed weapon in violation of MCL 750.224 in the Fourth Circuit Court of Jackson County. In that order, about March 7, 1997, he was convicted of the offense of felon in possession in violation of MCL 750.224F in the Fourth Circuit Court of Jackson County. In that order, about February 5th, 1993, he was convicted of delivering manufacturing less than 50 grams in violation of MCL 333.740124A in the 31st Circuit Court of St. Clair County. In that order, about March 14th, 1991, he was convicted of the offense of delivery and manufacturing less than 50 grams in violation of MCL 333.740124A in the Fourth Circuit of Jackson County. And that order about August 5th, 1991, he was convicted of the offense of delivery and manufacturing less than 50 grams and contrary to MCL 333.740124A in the 31st Circuit Court, St. Clair. And that therefore, uh, the penalties are a maximum of life if the primary offense was five years or more. So not only is he a sovereign citizen, but he is a career criminal as well. Well, it seems like these days that sovereign citizens and uh, criminal activity go hand in hand anyway. So what else is new? Or 15 years or less if the primary offense uh, has a penalty of under five years. This is again a larceny with the maximum penalty of five years. So you are facing life as a maximum penalty. I ask you again: Do you want court-appointed counsel? Okay, ma'am. 
Um, I want to I want to interject that um, the MCR 404B1 says you have to show conformity to the um, to the habitual, and there's no conformity, and it's over this is, ten years old. This is a probable old. cause conference. We don't have to it's, show it's any over conformity ten years old, man. Probable cause conference. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna see you in person next week, okay, sir? I can't make it. Next well, if you don't make it, guess what's gonna happen? A bench warrant will issue. You, <laughs> you go ahead and have a good day. I got other cases to handle. Thank you. Can I call up my witness for next week? Or do you want to? Yeah, absolutely can. Thank you. Well, dude, uh, she's showing you right there. Uh, it's time to nut up or shut up. Stop with the excuses and show up for court. But of course, you sovereign citizens uh, don't exactly have uh, the best of uh, the track records when it comes to showing up in court. So uh, I guess a bench warrant will be issued for him if he doesn't show up. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.